M0FXB. So if you want to upgrade the firmware on your ID51 Plus 2, go to this page here. I'll give you the link. And also click here to download the driver and follow this because you're going to need the driver for the OPC. I've got the 2350 cable is the one I've got. Um, so download the driver for the 2350 cable, which I'll find as well. Then there's your firmware. Go to the bottom, click download. Get your plug your cable into the radio. Let's give that a minute to boot. Now eventually you'll have a zip that looks like this. Okay. Now go to the little XE here and run it. Already there it is there. So do you? It says here, you know, that basically it's at your own risk, and uh, you know it's going to void your warranty once you've done this. So you click yes, and now select the the COM port. And mine's 14, and I know that because I can right click here, go device manager, and and after you've downloaded the driver, you you'll get this USB serial port COM port. If you don't get that, then um, it's the wrong driver. So we'll look at that. So click OK, and now it's connecting to the 51. It's saying um, not connecting at the moment. Let's just check why. Yeah, I forgot to put it into firmware mode. That was the problem. So let's have a look at the, uh, the manual again. So to get it in firmware mode, you need to hold down the V stroke megahertz button, which is this one, the quick speech and the squelch at the same time whilst turning on the power. So let's do it. Seems very fiddly. Turn the power. So you've got basically, it's a four, four fingered thing. So we're trying to do it. So holding all three down now and turn it on. Yeah, I don't think I held them down good enough. That was it's quite hard to do that, isn't it? So it's this one, this one, the squelch. Hold them all down. Right. Can you see that? The whole radio is now flashing. Let's see if you can see that. There you go, like so. Then you go back to the firmware file, which I think is, let's run it again, probably. Firmware zip, double click it. Like so, and then we agree to the terms. We put in COM14, like we just said. Click OK, and let's see if it connects. Ah, it did connect, but it's saying the update is not needed. But if it was needed, you would then just run forward from that. So I think that's enough information to do the firmware update on the ID52 plus, 51 plus, 73, all the best. Mm -hmm.